André Gors born 9 February 1923 to the 22nd of September 2007, more commonly known by his pen names Gerard Horst and Michel Bosquet, was an Austrian social philosopher and journalist. He co-founded Le Nouvel Observateur Weekly in 1964. A supporter of Jean-Paul Sartre's existentialist version of Marxism after the Second World War, he became in the aftermath of the May 68 student riots more concerned with political ecology. In the 1960s and 1970s he was a main theorist in the New Left movement. His central theme was wage-labor issues such as liberation from work, the just distribution of work, social alienation, and a guaranteed basic income. Career Topic. Early years Born in Vienna as Gerhard Hirsch, he was the son of a Jewish wood salesman and of a Catholic mother, who came from a cultivated background and worked as a secretary. Although his parents did not have any strong sense of national or religious identity, the spreading antisemitism of the time led his father to convert to Catholicism in 1930. At the outbreak of World War II 1939, his mother sent him to an institution in Switzerland to avoid his mobilization into the Wehrmacht. Thereafter, Hirsch was a stateless person until 12 April 1957, when he was naturalized French thanks to Pierre Mendes' France's support. He graduated from the University of Lausanne in chemical engineering in 1945. Working at first as a translator of American short stories published by a Swiss editor, he published his first articles in a cooperative journal. In 1946 he met Jean-Paul Sartre, with whom he became close. He was then mainly influenced by existentialism and phenomenology. Gores contributed to the journals Les Temps Modernes Paris, New Left Review, Technologie und Politik Rheinbeck. In June 1949 Gores moved to Paris, where he worked first at the International Secretariat of the Mouvement des Citoyens du Monde, then as private secretary of a military attaché of the Embassy of India. He then entered Paris Press as a journalist, taking the pseudonym of Michel Bosquet. There, he met with Jean-Jacques Servin Schreiber, who in 1955 recruited him as an economist journalist for L'Express. Alongside his journalistic activities, Gores worked closely with Sartre and adopted an existentialist approach to Marxism, leading him to emphasize the questions of alienation and of liberation in the framework of existential experience and an analysis of social systems from the viewpoint of individual experience. This intellectual framework formed the basis of his first books, La Traitre, La Suille, 1958, prefaced by Sartre, La Morale de la Histoire, La Suille, 1959, and the Fondements pour une Morale, Galilee, 1977, published 15 years later, which he signed for the first time as André Gors, from the German name of the now Italian city, Gors, where the eyeglasses given to his father by the Austrian army were made. Topic. 1960s to 1980s Gores also was a main theorist in the New Left movement, inspired by the young Marx, discussions of humanism and alienation and the liberation of humanity. Gores was also influenced by the Frankfurt School, being a friend of Herbert Marcuse. Other friends of his included Rosanna Rosanda, founder of Il Manifesto newspaper, the photographer William Klein, younger intellectuals such as Mark Kravitz or Tieno Grumbach, and Ronald Fraser of the New Left Review. He strongly criticized structuralism because of its criticisms of the subject and of subjectivity. He called himself a revolutionary reformist, a democratic socialist who wanted to see system-changing reforms. In 1961, he entered the editorial committee of Les Temps Modernes, introducing to French thought the Italian Garavini, the neo-Keynesian and communist Bruno Trentin, and the anarcho-syndicalist Vittorio Foa. Imposing himself as the «intellectual leader of the Italian tendency of the new left». Michel Contat, he influenced activists of the UNEF Students' Union and of the CFDT in particular Jean Auger, Michel Roland and Fredo Crumno as a theorist of workers' self-management, recently embraced by the CFDT. His term, non-reformist reform, refers to proposed programs of change that base their demands on human needs rather than on the needs of the current economic system. He directly addressed himself to trade unions in Stratégie ouvrière et néocapitalisme, 1964, where he criticized capitalist economic growth and expounded on the various strategies open to trade unions. 
The same year, he quit L'Express along with Serge Lafari, Jacques Laurent Bost, K. S. Carroll, and Jean Daniel to found Le Nouvel Observateur Weekly using the pseudonym of Michel Bosquet. Deeply affected by May 68, Gore saw in these events a confirmation of his existential Marxist posture, which joined the students' criticisms towards institutional and state organization state, school, family, firm, etc. Thereafter, Ivan Illich's thesis on education, medicine or the abolition of wage labor became the focus of his attention. He published one of Illich's speeches in Les Temps Modernes in 1961, before meeting him in 1971 in Le Nouvel Observateur at the occasion of his publication of Deschooling Society Une Société Sans École. He later published a résumé of Illich's Tools for Conviviality 1973 under the title Libéer l'Avenir Free Future. His links with Illich strengthened after a trip to California in 1974, where he wrote several articles for Le Nouvel Observateur discussing Illich's thesis. Gorz's evolution and political and philosophical stances led to some tensions with his colleagues on Les Temps Modernes, for which he had assumed the chief editorial responsibilities in 1969. In April 1970, his article Destroy the University l'Université provoked the resignation of Jean Bertrand Pontalis and Bernard Pingo. Gores also criticized a Maoist tendency present in the journal since 1971 and supported by Sartre. Finally, in 1974 Gores resigned as the editor of Les Temps Modernes, following a disagreement concerning an article about the Italian autonomist group Lata Continua. At the same time, he found himself forced to the periphery of Le Nouvel Observateur, being replaced by more classically oriented economists, while he followed at the same time a campaign against nuclear industry, to which EDF, the state electricity firm, replied by withdrawing advertisements from the weekly. Following the weekly's refusal to let him publish a special issue on the nuclear issue, he published it in the K. Schwazier, Consumers Magazine. In the same period, Gores was becoming a leading figure of political ecology, his ideas being spread in particular by the ecologist monthly Le Sauvage, founded by Alain Hervé, the founder of the French section of the Friends of the Earth. In 1975 he published Ecology et Politique Galilee, 1975, which included the essay Ecology et Liberté, one of the foundational texts of the ecologic problematic, Françoise Gollin. He was also influenced by Louis Dumont in considering Marxism and liberalism to be two versions of economist thought. Gores then opposed himself both to hedonist individualism and utilitarianism and to materialist and productivist collectivism, defending a humanist version of ecology similar to social ecology which is opposed to deep ecology. Gores's ecologism, however, remained linked to a critique of capitalism, as he called for an ecological, social and cultural revolution which would abolish the constraints of capitalism. 1980s to 2000s A year before the election of the left's candidate, François Mitterrand, to the French presidency in 1981, Gores published Adieu au Proletariat Galilee, 1980 Farewell to the Proletariat where he criticized the cult of the proletarian class in Marxism, arguing that changes in science and technology now made it impossible for the working class to be the sole, or even primary, revolutionary agent. Although the book was not well received among the French left, it did receive attention from younger readers. Soon after Sartre's death in that same year Gores left the editorial board of Les Temps Modernes. In Les Chemins du Parity Gores remained critical of the Marxist orthodoxy of the time, using Marx's own analysis in the Grundrisse to argue for the need of the political left to embrace the liberatory potential that the increasing automation of factories and services offered as a central part of the socialist project. In 1983 he had a falling out with the pacifist movements when he refused to oppose the deployment of Pershing II missiles by the United States in West Germany. The same year, he resigned from Le Nouvel Observateur. In the 1990s and 2000s, the journal's Multitudes, Ecorev, which will publish the last article in French, La fin du capitalisme a déjà commencé, and Entropia published his articles. Gores was also critical of the post structuralism and postmodernism of thinkers such as Antonio Negri. His point of view was rooted in early Marxist humanist thinking. Liberation from wage slavery and social alienation remained one of his goals, even in his later works. 
He never became an abstract theorist, his reasoning usually concluded with proposals for how to act to make changes. In Metamorphoses du Travail Galilei, 1988 Metamorphosis of Labor, Gores argued that capitalism used personal investments from the worker which were not paid back. As such, he became an advocate of guaranteed basic income, independent from labor. He made such a proposal in his book, Critique of Economic Reason, 1989, and argued, from the point where it takes only 1,000 hours per year or 20,000 to 30,000 hours per lifetime to create an amount of wealth equal to or greater than the amount we create at the present time in 1,600 hours per year or 40,000 to 50,000 hours in a working life, we must all be able to obtain a real income equal to or higher than our current salaries in exchange for a greatly reduced quantity of work. In practice, this means that in the future we must receive our full monthly income every month even if we work full-time only one month in every two or six months in a year or even two years out of four, so as to complete a personal, family or community project, or experiment with different lifestyles, just as we now receive our full salaries during paid holidays, training courses, possibly during periods of sabbatical leave, and so forth. He pointed out that in contrast to the guaranteed social minimum granted by the state to those unable to find regular paid work, our regular monthly income will be the normal remuneration we have earned by performing the normal amount of labor the economy requires each individual to supply. The fact that the amount of labor required is so low that work can become intermittent and constitute an activity amongst a number of others, should not be an obstacle to its being remunerated by a full monthly income throughout one's life. This income corresponds to the portion of socially produced wealth to which each individual is entitled by virtue to their participation in the social process of production. It is, however, no longer a true salary, since it is not dependent on the amount of labor supplied in the month or year and is not intended to remunerate individuals as workers. Topic. Death Gores and his wife, Dorini, committed suicide together in his home in Vosnan, Abi. His wife had been diagnosed with a terminal illness and they had already said that neither wanted to survive the other's death. Their bodies were found on 24 September 2007 by a friend, both having died after a lethal injection. His book Lettre à d'histoire d'un amour Galilee, 2006, was dedicated to his wife, and was in fact a way for him to tell of the love he had for her. Topic. Works Topic. Books La morale de la histoire Sewell, 1959. Stratégie ouvrière et néocapitalisme Sewell, 1964. Socialism and Revolution first published, Sewell, 1967, as Le socialisme difficile. Reform et Revolution Sewell, 1969. Critique du capitalisme quotidien Galilei, 1973 Critique de la division du travail Sewell, 1973. Collective work Ecology as politics South End Press, 1979, first published, Galilei, 1978 Ecology et liberté Galilei, 1977 Fondments pour une morale Galilei, 1977 the Traitor, 1960, first published, Sewell, 1958. Farewell to the Working Class, 1980, Galilee, 1980, and Le Sewell, 1981, as a duo proletariat. Paths to Paradise, 1985, Galilee, 1983. Critique of Economic Reason, Verso, 1989, first published, Galilee, 1988, as Metamorphoses du Travail, Quete du Sens. Capitalism, Socialism, Ecology 1994 Galilei, 1991 Reclaiming Work, Beyond the Wage-Based Society 1999, first published, Galilei 1997 as Misères du Présent, Richesse du Possible. The Immaterial, Knowledge, Value and Capital Seagull Books, 2010, first published, Galilei, 2003 Letter to D, A Love Letter Polity, 2009, first published 2006 Extract Online Ecologica Galilei, 2008 Le fil rouge de l'écologie. Intrations in it en français, Willy Janinazi ed, ed, Delahus, 2015
Topic. Essays Willy Janinazi, André Gors. Un Vi, Paris, Le Découvert, 2016. Finn Boring, André Gors and the Sartrean Legacy, Arguments for a Person-Centered Social Theory, London, Macmillan, 2000. Conrad Logiak, Jeremy Tatman, André Gors, A Critical Introduction, London, Pluto Press, 1997. Topic. Audio An homage to the thought of André Gors broadcast on France Culture, Philosophy and Situations, André Gors, Philosophy de Venir. A portrait of André Gors was broadcast on France Culture on 20 December 2006, on the radio show Surprise par la nuit. Topic. Interviews Interview with André Gors video in German, 3 Saturday 5 September 2007 Interview with Gors 1983 Farewell to the Proletariat text in English Entrevistas à André Gors, Claren y Michel Zolotowski, 1999. Traducion de Cristina Sardoy in Spanish Les Periphériques vu Parlant, Printemps 1998 in French Topic. References Topic. External links Appendix to Critique of Economic Reason, Summary for Trade Union and Other Left Activists Reform and Revolution, Socialist Register, 1968 Oser Lixode de la Société de Travail dans les Périphériques vu Parlant en degree 10, Printemps 1998, pp. 43-49 Chris Turner, André Gore's French philosopher who pioneered ideas of political ecology, The Guardian, 7 November 2007 André Gore's, RIP, Monthly Review Social theorist André Gore's dies, aged 84, World Socialist Page dedicated to André Gore's on multitudes Le Matériel d'André Gore's, by Jan Moulier Boutang, Ecorev, 2003 in French Extract of an article published in March 1974 in Les Temps Modernes in French Articles in the journal Streisuge in German Articles in the journal Ecorev in French Blog entry concerning the death of André Gors and his wife in German Finn Boring, The Writer's Malady, André Gors, 1923-2007 Obituary published in Radical Philosophy March, April 2008 El suicidio de André Gors y su mujer archived the 25th of October 2009 Spanish Articulo del escritor colombiano German Uribe André Gors and the syndicalism in Mil Cent, 2008 in French Thinking after capitalism with André Gors in Ecorev, Autumn 2009 Cursor be it. Living dead capitalism. And the future of the left article summarizing Gors's paths to paradise.